So we received a uh, Dell Inspiron 1501. And the user stated that it would blue screen at random times. Actually, here's the note they gave. Beep codes 1, 4, and 2 when running diagnostics. And then blue screened after they ghosted repaired it. So when we turn the machine on. It ends up turning on perfectly fine to the bias screen. Goes through the startup like that. Even does the Windows XP splash screen. We notice it's a AMD system. With this being said, AMD and having the chipsets that have errors on it, we're pretty certain that this system may have an issue. Problem with it is the system doesn't get stressed and show a chipset failure until it goes to start up. This right here is a typical scene of what would happen if you have a chipset failure related to uh, the 1501s. Now, mind you, a lot of people would say, well, that could be an inverter, that could be the screen, that could be this, that could be that. So we'll turn it off. In part of our normal diagnostics, we actually check and see if the system will actually start up in safe mode to diagnose the uh, driver failure. So we'll turn it back on. System starts up, starts going to the Dell screen. Pretty typical. Press F8. Now you get to where you got the prompt. Go to safe mode. And it's loading your drivers. Now what it does is it loads generic minimized drivers. And with these generic minimized drivers, you're not gonna get the stressing of the video card and then the failure. So what's gonna happen is, if all accounts are true and what we have already diagnosed, the system should start up perfectly fine and show a Windows screen. It should be starting up in typical safe mode, but the system will hang and will just sit there with a the cursor and not log in. That's if it has a genuine chipset issue. Pretty atypical right there. With this 1501 having a chipset issue, it loaded the minimized drivers, started the safe mode uh, screen perfectly fine, uh, sh doesn't show any uh, distortion of the screen, doesn't show any frequency issues, so we know it's not a hardware issue linked to the screen, not an inverter, not the screen. So what we'll do now is we'll take the system apart and reflow it and see what happens. So now we have completed the uh, reflow on this system. I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. Um, we reflowed it, put it back together, uh, updated the BIOS, make sure that's the updated BIOS. So what's going to happen is we'll see if the ATI chipset on this system fails again. Uh, do we get the lines? Um, do we get the hangups and the crashes and the blue screens? It appears that we don't. Uh, we actually got our audio back also. So pretty good sign with this XP machine is that uh, with the Inspiron 1501 the ATI chipsets on it fell also uh, the same as the NVIDIA's. After a simple reflow, that actually fixed this board and fixed the system.